see I tried to put the LSU colors to show some support for our guy. Anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? St. Graven here with another video. And in this video, the Ravens just had a presser that featured our boy Kiki and PQ uh, and a few others as well. I didn't catch those, but I specifically waited to listen to Patrick Queen to see what he had to say, to see what was going to be asked of him and to see his response. And I really, really appreciated it because you could tell it came from a place of humility because ha have you ever been at a job where you like you excited to get this job, you hyped to get this job, you all ready for this job, and you perform the job, but you may not do it so well. And it may be a little bit tougher than you thought it was. And even though your job is tough, you see other people, they may need some help. You try to help them do their job while you're struggling with yours too. And it just, it, it makes for a big mess. It, it can cause a big scene and, and it can just be rough. It makes it that much rougher for you. And it can make it that much rougher for everybody else too. Because you can't help somebody else if you don't help yourself first. And you could have the nicest heart and you could have the best intentions and whatnot. But if you don't have your own stuff right, then you really can't do much for anybody else. And Patrick Queen was asked about that. He was asked about, well, 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 what you, you, they said you try to help everybody else and you try to help other people do their job. And he was like, yeah, that's just, it's just like, it's in my nature. It's in my nature. And they also asked him about, they said, all right, you got moved out of the mic linebacker spot. Obviously, Josh Bynes, he's been holding that down. Um, and Patrick Queen, while he has not been benched, he has certainly been demoted. Um, and that that's very that's humbling in itself because I believe the past two games he's played less than 30 snaps in each of them. So that's like, I mean, I think that's pretty much bench, but it's being demoted. Um, so it's it certainly can mess with your mentals. And it's all about your bounce back game, though. How do you respond if you get demoted? Are you if you get demoted at your job, are you just going to be like, all right, you know what? That's it. I'm out. I quit. I'm leaving. I don't want to be a part of this company anymore. Or are you going to take that demotion and be like, all right, they demoted me. Um, I had this position, but I lost it. All right. Uh, you know what? What did I do wrong? Why, why did I get demoted in the first place? Let, let me look at that. Let me look at how I can improve uh, and, and, and move forward and be better. Now, that's a tough, that's a tough question because if you get demoted at your job, and I, if I got demoted at my job, I couldn't tell you what I would do. Cause that's, so I ain't going to sit up here and act like, oh man, I would take it with stride and be like, all right, well, yeah, what do I need? No, I ain't even going to act like that. Cause that's tough. But with Patrick Queen, he obviously has a different kind of job uh, and, and his demotion doesn't lead to a, a, a pay decrease. Uh, but I mean, actually over time, it actually could just depend on how things work out. But regardless... He's taking it with humility, and that's very, very important. Uh, he spoke today uh, to the media about how much Josh Bynes has just helped him a lot. He said Josh Bynes is obviously somebody that's been around for a minute, but had a lot of success. And the reporter said, oh, yeah, with Josh Bynes, he done been on different teams. He done been cut and whatnot. He, he done been through it. So he knows he, he would be somebody that's speaking from experience. Pa Josh Bynes would be an OG. So he could tell young Patrick Queen, like, hey, look, man, this is what you need to do. And Patrick Queen said it himself. He said Josh Bynes had been showing him and telling him, like, oh, yeah, this is what you can improve on. This is what you could do better. This is what you do good. He said he let him know all of that stuff. So that's good. But back to what I was saying before, Patrick Queen was asked about uh, going from Mike linebacker to Will linebacker. And he's, they were like, how do you feel about that? He said, well, Will, that's what I played at LSU. And he's like, and they asked him, oh, so do you ever want to go back to being the starter? Do you ever want to go back to being the Mike linebacker? And he said, it's, it's up to the coaches. He said, I'm going to do what I'm good at. I'm going to do what I'm good at. And he, he, I love how he acknowledged. Like, see, I, for me, I know it may be different for some of y'all. Because I know some of y'all might be like, oh, well, what else is he going to say? But I appreciate when players acknowledge what they did bad. Even though the whole world may know it already. The whole world may already be talking about it. I mean, Patrick Queen, not to insinuate anything, but in my opinion, I think one of the reasons that he probably went private on Twitter. If you weren't following him already, then his Twitter account is private. 
So I think one of the reasons he may have done that because, you know, social media can be an ugly, ugly place, especially for fans of sports. Oh, because people just they don't have any boundaries. People do not have boundaries. And, and with social media, I always say it's a gift and a curse. It, it gives you access to people across the world, gives you access to all these celebrities, these athletes, this and that. And it's cool. But the bad part is that it gives you access to people across the world. It gives you access to all these celebrities and these athletes. And it's not cool. And some people take that. It's like it's a power. And, and you, you, you're given this power and you can use it for good or you can use it for bad. And a lot of people, unfortunately, use it for bad. And they'll go. I'm sure Patrick Queen got plenty of messages, got tagged in plenty of stuff and people saying all this, that and the third. And that's an unfortunate part about social media. It's an unfortunate part about people. People forget that these players are people, too. And again, their, their, their job is always on public display. But I respected and I appreciated a lot how Patrick Queen addressed. Said, yeah, I, I need to work on tackling. I need to work on tackling. They said that Rob Ryan said that in these in the, in the two bye week practices, he said their focus is going to be on tackling. Now, have we heard that before? Yes, we have. We've heard it before. And it obviously hasn't worked. So, again, I, I just I question and I wonder, like, what is going to be what, what, what's it going to take for these Ravens to actually fix that? But anyway, back to back to Patrick Queen. They asked him if he was ever uh, if he was ever going to be if he ever wanted to be the starter again. And he just he I, I was expecting him to say, yeah, I, I definitely want to be the starter again. For sure. That's something that I, I, I that's one of my goals in the long term future, for sure. But he kind of just disregarded it. He was like, oh, no, I, I'm going I'm to I'm do it. I'm going to play where I play. I'm going to play where I play. I'm going to fit in where I get in. I, he just like, he brushed that to the side. And and to me, what that showed me when he answered that and, and didn't even talk about being the, the Mike linebacker anymore, what that showed me is that right now, he's just willing to do whatever to both get on and stay on the field. And it to me that showed that Patrick Queen is like he he knows like he's at a crossroads right now. He's at a crossroads right now with this team, with his career, with the Ravens, and not and not to make it sound bigger than what it is, but it is big. It is big because you've been demoted. And with Patrick Queen, he's at this point where it's like, all right, hey, this this is big. This this is really big. I'm in the middle of my second year, and yeah, last year there was all. The, yeah, we ain't have an off season last year. Kind of got a pass for last year, even though I felt like Patrick Queen overall he did pretty good, especially given the situation. But he got a pass for last year. And now it's this year, and it's like, oof. Mm. It's it's been it's been a struggle. So he talked about how a lot of it was just overthinking, overthinking. And I agree. I think that's a big part of it, too, because we know that football is it's, it's more mental than it is physical. It's more mental than it is physical. And if you overthinking something, that can be very dangerous. If you underthinking something, that can be dangerous. If you second guessing something, that can be very dangerous. If you're out there on a the football field and things are flying super fast. Guys are coming at you super quick. So if you second guessing, if you doubting yourself, if you right in the middle of a play and you like, uh, nah, maybe I should. Mm -mm. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. So hopefully this buy allows Patrick Queen to take that mental break. This buy allows Patrick Queen to sort of take a step back. It's just not even just Patrick Queen because it's not him alone. Again, like I said, Mar when Marlon Humphrey called out Patrick Queen in them two games and he was like, wrap up, wrap up. Patrick Queen, in this past game, he should have told Marlon Humphrey, you need to wrap up. He should have went like just like that. He should have came up off the sideline and went up to 44, grabbed him by the jersey, and said, you need to wrap up. Take your own advice. But, no, seriously, though, uh, it's, it's not just on Patrick Queen. But him being the, the – well, when he was the starting inside linebacker, that's a big responsibility. Now, this um, the way that this season's been going – it changes the trajectory of things that I thought were going to be happening next season. Because what I thought would happen, especially Patrick Queen being an inside linebacker, I figured, okay, Patrick Queen, Ravens linebacker of the future, not this year, not 2021, but next season, 
I felt like they were going to be giving him the green dot so he could call the plays. I feel like, yeah, Chuck, call, Chuck Clark calling the plays is, is cool. He's been doing his thing. But I feel like they will want to give that to their middle linebacker. But now at this point, I, I just I don't see that happening. And, of course, we still got a long season to go. Got, what, like 10 games left. So they got a little while to go. But just by the way things are going, I just don't see it happening. So we'll see how things go. Uh, anyway, team, keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And y'all have a really good day. And just like Patrick Queen is when it comes to being the starting Mike linebacker, I'm out.